What's going on YouTube? It's another All Boot Max video and today we are going to be showing off my newest computer acquisition the Power Macintosh 7166 and I am really excited about this computer. I got it a week ago I unboxed it and everything like that. I did a video on unboxing but I don't think I'm going to post it just because the video quality wasn't that great and the video quality in this video is probably not going to be that good as well just because my lighting in my room is really bad. I only got one light so <laughs> it's kind of grainy but what can you do? So we'll just go ahead and show this thing off. We'll go ahead and turn it on. So as I was saying I got it from eBay about a week ago. I got it for $30 and it was one of the better price max on eBay. Uh, a lot of them are really overpriced just due to the fact that uh, people know that collectors want to buy stuff like this and they'll jack the price up a lot just because there's not that much quantity of these guys <laughs> left in really good condition. This one however was really cheap. Um, this is the 7166 as I mentioned. It was right at the beginning when they switched from the Motorola processor to the PowerPC chip. Um, the original one would be the 6100, but the 7100 is pretty close. This was made and manufactured in 1994, was discontinued a year later. Um, it's pretty much at that time period where this Apple pretty much had a ton of products, <laughs> either getting rebadged or <laughs> just they were just putting out a ton of products uh, between this period before Steve Jobs got back. And this is one of the PowerPC models that I got. And the reason for me getting it is just because I want to have something to play older games on. And, you know, I have an iMac G3, but I don't know. I just kind of like this because it's got a floppy drive in it, which is really nice. <laughs> and I just like the style, which is kind of weird because a lot of people are like, Oh, well, the iMac G3 is really stylish, which it is. Like, it's pretty innovative, but, like, I don't know. I just like the beige type <laughs> computer. I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's other people like that out there that are like me that kind of like this more basic style. But yeah, I got it to maybe play some old games on, so I'll be doing a lot, little bit more of a, or be doing some Let's Play videos of some older Macintosh games. Even though there's not that many out there, but there's enough to where I can do some reviews on them. And as you can see here, I'm using a Packard Bell monitor with it because of course I don't have the original monitor. Uh, I just have this one laying over from when I had gotten a Packard Bell a while back and I had the monitor so I wasn't really using it for anything else so I decided to plug it up to this. And of course this doesn't run on VGA so we'll go ahead to the back here. And I'm not going to pull this thing out but <laughs> it has a DB15 connector. So I got the adapter for that so I could switch it to VGA. And then on the back you just got your standard, you know, Apple, typical Apple ports back there, ADB connector, serial uh, printer port, all that good stuff. And a couple expansion slots as well. So we'll go ahead and go to about my computer here. About this computer. So it has 32 megabytes of RAM, which is upgradable to I believe 87 megabytes or something around there. And this is running Mac OS 8.5. And it has a 500 megabyte hard drive. And there's 200 megabytes available. So I don't really have too much stuff on here. But like I said, I'm going to be mainly using this for older computer games and such. And I'll probably end up um, doing a video probably next month. Because it's going to be kind of hard to work. I work out the deal with this person to get this, get my hands on it, but it's a DOS card. And if you don't know what that is, it's an actual card that goes onto the um, motherboard itself and allows you to, you know, download or, you know, run Windows. And the difference between that and virtual PC is this is actually going to have a dedicated processor for that. So it's going to have a 486 processor on the card. As well as some RAM, I believe, too. So it's not where Virtual PC, where it's like, you know, hoarding a bunch of stuff from your actual Mac and it's really sluggish. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see that, but that will be probably around next month. 
Yeah, I just want to show this off real quick. Um, it's got your CD drive. Works. <laughs> I've been uh, downloading a lot of stuff from the Mac repository just because it's really convenient <laughs> to get old software from that. So I've been downloading a ton of games. So there's going to be a couple, there's going to be a bunch of game play reviews as well. Um, I'll probably have to get a capture card because I don't know where my other one is, but I can probably get one for really cheap. So expect those around next week sometime. But uh, yeah, just want to show this off real quick. I thought it was really cool that I got it. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll uh, see you in the next video.